I'm chilling. Hey, my shit's like closed chill. though. Am I painting on plastic or what's up? Oh, facts. <laughs> oh, my shit's open, huh? Are you just recording right now? Yeah. What's up, bitches? Are you just gonna ask me questions? We just, gonna, we just gonna chop it up. I have some questions. That's the whole point of it, is just being like a conversation. That makes me nervous. You feel me? Is Be it not being I'm an interview? To, what the? Shorty, you're fucking, you're, just lay down. I can't do it, I'm sorry. See, look, don't give me that look. You make me feel bad. You wanna paint with me? Here, give me a hand. Pouring oh. the brushes into your hand. Oh, you got them. How many boyfriends do you have, Coco? Um, well, right now I don't have any boyfriends. I have one boy I actually like. Mm hmm This shit's already hard. <laughs> my circle's lopsided. <laughs> Bro, I cannot paint. Also, I stick my tongue out when I concentrate, so don't judge me. I'm definitely judging you. Michael yeah. Jordan had a... <laughs> you know the worst part is I do that during sex, too. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh a lot during sex. Bro, I f***ed this guy and he was like, I'm just in a silly, goofy mood. I never had sex in the game. Never <laughs> the thing again. about sex for me is it's like the most intimate time. Oh my god, for me, I don't care. What? I could never Bro, have sex with someone and get someone to fall madly in love with me. Oh no, I don't care. It's not like I care. Don't get me, don't, don't get me fucked up. It's not intimate to me at all. But there's something intimate about sex. So for Fuck me, no. take a shower with me, bitch. That's intimate. Like Put there's your dick some funny of me, shit. Whatever. Well, see, my standards are high because I'm a beast, so I only take showers with girls. Oh, see. Sorry, we're on different levels. How long you been out here for? Three years, sadly. Four years? Three. Three. Why did so oh, and bitch? What do we think? Um, I didn't start liking it until probably like a year ago. Mm-hmm. What changed? Um, I just stopped giving an actual fuck. Good for you. Once I shaved my head, I, like, literally lost my shit. Did you shave the he head or get the tats first? Uh, I shaved my head. Okay. I, like, literally lost my shit. These bitches were bullying me really, really bad. They were bullying you? Fuck yeah. Who's these bitches? Um, these dumb influencer bitches. And See, that shit's do no. So I shaved my head, and then here I am now. But it was worth it. What was the decision to get all the tats? Did you just get one and you went crazy? Um, no, I just, it was just one of those things where I, when I figured out I could make money and like I was actually unique and like, you know, there's not many people like me. Mm -hmm. I realized there's like a big niche. Just like for me to walk down the street and someone be like, oh my God, you're Coco Blake. I'm like, what the actual fuck? How do you know who I am? I went to Spain, bro. People know and you these Spain? girls were like, oh my God. Bro, it literally brings me to tears because like, this is gonna sound so sad. Um, I never really had friends my whole life. I was really severely bullied. Like, mm -hmm. it was really, really rough for me. So now for like girls to like want to be me when I'm just being myself is like the coolest feeling. There are so many girls who like want to just do whatever they want and are so scared because like the whole world tells you to be yourself and then you're yourself and they tell you it's wrong. That, uh, that's facts. That's I always facts. say that you could cure cancer and people would yell at you why you didn't do it sooner. Stop, me stop being able so to much. have a platform and like inspire people to be like, to stop caring. This is the most lopsided fucking, do you see it? Left side as fuck. I probably get like 10 DMs a day of girls saying they shave their head for me. What do your DMs look like? Um, a lot dick of thirst pics? traps? Yeah, unsolicited dick I pics. I get super huge. Uh, I get videos of people having sex and then saying my name. That, they say your name? Yeah, yeah, that's a- The guy says it or the girl says um, it? Both. Okay. That's the new one. I posted this TikTok and all these like fucking professional sports players have been in my DMs the last two days. Who? Give us names. All of them. I'm making my circle way worse. <laughs> What's been the most painful tat? Um, I just got my calf done and it was pretty fucking excruciating. Really? Fuck yes. Just I was calf? in tears. And I even numbed it. What did you get? Um, I'm getting my whole leg sleeved right now. Oh, shit. I just got my stomach done yesterday. What'd you get? Which just one? this. But I didn't finish it because my car's, my friend's car died and I had to jump it. <laughs> and I'm a good friend, so I just walked around with a half ass tat. What is Hug Your Homies? Um, one of my best friends, his name is Ethan. Mm -hmm. um, he died last year. And the last text we sent to each other was, I wish I could hug you. Damn. And so that is why I started the whole like hug your homies thing. Cause like, I don't know, a hug makes a difference. Like it touching does. someone, just being able to like be there for someone. Like I would kill, even if I never spoke to him again, just to be able to hug him. Right, like, I don't know, it just made a difference. And then, you know, I kind of did it for myself. This is so lopsided. <laughs> I did it for myself and then other people like liked it. And you know, a lot of people need the reassurance of like hugging your friends. I feel like my titty's gonna come out. I'm not gonna lie. I'll make sure that it goes. If it does, hope it's the right one because it's tattooed and it glows in the dark. <laughs> what do you have on your titty? Isn't it a spider web? Yeah. And that shit glows in the dark. Fuck yeah, green. Oh God. Bro, I'm good. That's why. A lot happened in 2020. I went from like having no job, making no money to now like, you know, being able to have my fucking face tattooed. Right. I think just for me, it was just making myself happy mm -hmm. over other people. 
I like always have been one to please everyone else. I mean, even to this day, I'm still kind of like that. Still a people pleaser, you think? I'd, not so much people pleaser. I just want to make sure everyone's okay. So it has this like good and sometimes I'm just like, you know, I'm always asking everyone else if they're okay. It would be nice to ask somebody For someone ask, ask me, but at the same time, like, I know that I'm okay. What keeps you together? Um, I just have a really good support system. My mom is my best friend. That's great. That's really why I'm making OnlyFans, so I can put that bitch through college. Funniest thing I've heard you say. We were in the back Okay, let me explain it. So, yeah, can we believe out the name, though? Yeah, we'll be back in. Okay, okay. so, we were in the and uh, he walks in, and I'm like, hey, hey, blah, he's talking to me, like, obviously flirting with me and, like, interested in what I'm saying. And I'm literally just talking about me being a fucking redneck. <laughs> and, like, so I were... talk to everyone, right? So, like, I don't think much of it. And so then he's like, he seems very intrigued. Like, he's definitely listening. And then uh, he's like, oh, what's your Instagram? And so I give him my Instagram. He, like, doesn't follow me. He just likes the photo. And I'm like, okay, whatever. And then um, I went to go, like, look for his Instagram or something. And I went to our DMs, and he had DM'd me. Already? Like, six months before. And I never saw it. No, <laughs> no. It. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, you're safe, though. Can you move the hat? Yeah. Yeah, I never saw it, and I, I responded, I was like, that's Kiki. I was like, you'd already slid my DM. That's and he was like, LOL, LOL. And I'm like, to make it even weirder, you knew exactly who I was when you were talking to me. And you tried to act. And you acted like you had no idea who I was. That's the weirdest shit to me, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda, I get caught up in that too. I don't really DM slide. I'm more of an in-person guy. And I also don't really spit game, I'm just kinda like myself. Bro, when I met he was like, yo, you're Coco Blake. He said that? Yeah. Imagine and I was like, what's up? And he's like, you're so fire. I see you, I see you on Instagram. And I was like, what's up? Like, bro, most of the time I know, but I had no idea who the fuck it was. And That's then, what I'm saying, because then you looked at- And then was, I looked and I was like, what was his name? It was the three of us in the back of the He's spitting all his game and he gets up, about to go out and, and go on. And you go, what was his name? I know. You ghost people? Not intentionally, like, this is how I feel. I'm a really big lover and I want to be loved super badly. Like, mm -hmm. it's really a big thing for me, but it's very hard for me to allow someone to come in. I also just get bored very easily. Okay. And I'm at the place in my life where like, I am pretty much doing everything I've wanted and more. So like, I need somebody who can keep up with me. Not even like in a cocky way, but like- No, but you get it. Yeah, like I know that there's only one of me and what I'm doing right now is only the start and it's only gonna get better. So like, you need to be able to keep up with me. You need to be able to have your own thing. You have your own life be able to handle the amount of attention I get and move on. Sometimes I forget that the life I live isn't normal for everyone. Right, but you're you, so it feels normal. Of course, even like when I say things like it, like that's my normal, right? But it's crazy to people who aren't. Listen, bro, that shit, that shit is mind boggling. <laughs> right? I don't know, it's, it's a weird balance because girls like my, bro, my whole life bitches have literally made me cry. So now I'm at the point where I don't care to be their friend. What's the craziest rumor you've heard about yourself? I don't know, it kind of varies. Uh, the new one I heard is that I'm failing and I'm moving home. And I would literally rather suck dick for a living than move back to North Carolina. They said you're failing? Yeah. How are they gonna say that? Cause people will say anything. When I was in school, people called me a whore and I literally had sex with like maybe one person my whole high school. Man, bitches love to hate, bro. Oh, of course. And when I was in school, uh, everyone like made fun of me cause of how different I was. And now people are like, I knew you were gonna do it. And I'm like, bitch, you didn't know shit. What There's makes you different? I just would do, like, I dress differently, kind of how I did now, but, like, toned down. I had tattoos. I was dyeing my hair. So I had always, like, been out there. Like, it yeah. was super obvious, but it just wasn't accepted. And now, because I'm on a bigger scale, it's people accept it so much more. And they're like, oh. Are you grateful for that, or do, is there a part of you that's like, what, what the fuck? Which part? That they accept it now. I don't give a shit. I'm going to do what I'm doing regardless. Fair enough. I mean, People there has like to that? be a part of you that's like, what the fuck, why weren't y'all fucking with me back then? Oh, of course. I used to literally beat myself up every day because I never understood why people didn't like me. Right. I literally never understood why someone didn't want to be my friend or, like, anything. I, like, when I was growing up, it was, some days I, I was, like, shitty, but at the end of the day, like, if I wanted to be someone's friend, I was so nice. And it, it would never be me. It would either, like, be someone being, like, oh, like, a girl making up some stupid reason and then me feeling bad about it. And like me getting punished, even though I did nothing. I was literally at the gym. Um, it's called Royal Personal Training. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, My amazing gym. Well. I love it. But um, it's all like big haired, big boobed bitches and like fake ass. 
nothing, none of them are actually real, right? right? This girl that's heavier comes in, starts working out, literally starts breaking down into tears. Because she's like, I don't is. look like any of these girls, this and that. And it literally shattered my soul. Because I'm like, how sad is that? That you think that you aren't good enough to work out because you don't look like these girls. I'm like, that's not how this should be at all. Right. Right. I'm like, it isn't, but the unfortunate thing no. is that, like, and that's the thing what it's is, it, it hurt my soul because that's how I feel now, right? Sometimes I feel so out of place just because I'm not your standard looking girl, right? Some days, don't get me wrong, I wake up and I'm like, wow, I wish that I had no tattoos and was a big titty blonde bitch, mm-hmm. right? Because that's what people like. And, like, literally, I went and sat next to her, and I just talked to her and complimented her socks. And just, like, made her feel like she wasn't, like, crazy by herself. What socks was she wearing? Um, she was wearing these pink smiley face socks. They were super, super cute. My whole titty is coming out of this. What's your favorite TikTok trend? I don't really have one. TikTok kind of annoys me. I'm not going to lie. That new one that they're doing, the... So I told her, wait. Mm, mm. That shit's fire, bro. I don't know which one you're talking about, but you it makes me not want to see about. it. It's gonna you take know. me so long to do this. Can you just show me? I have a whole body to paint. You can tap out. <laughs> you can just say this is it. Okay, quit. Coco's first ever tap out session. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like avocados on the logs. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's better. I win. Who's he? <gasps> Vape. It's a vape, baby. The lopsided head. I told you! The circle was hard to paint. Thank Coco, you. Coco, it's been a delight. Thank you very phone. much. I'm Thank freezing. Thank you so much, Coco Blake. Of course. Coco fucking Blake. Look, this dude said, you being bald and sexy. And then he said, good talk, because I ain't respond. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, sucks to fucking good suck. Good talk. That's a wrap. Do you want me to help you clean up? No, we good. You good. Subscribe to my OnlyFans. I'm trying to put my mom through college. Actually.